This video is a follow-up from a video I posted last week where I investigated the temperature drop after deleting my i7 7700K. If you haven't watched that video yet, then you can click the card in the top right hand corner to check it out. Summing up, we saw about a 15 degree temperature improvement when compared to the untouched 7700K. We did mention, however, that we used Core Laboratories Liquid Ultra to achieve this. But what if you don't want to use Liquid Ultra? Maybe you don't want to spend another $15 to $20, or maybe you just don't want to wait a few days for it to arrive. Well, if you built your own PC, then chances are you probably have some leftover thermal paste lying around. So, could you use that? Well, I too was curious about how much of a difference there really was between a standard thermal paste and the premium Liquid Ultra that everyone's been raving about. We won't be going through the entire de process again here, but if you want to see that, then you can refer to our previous de video where we pretty much show all the necessary steps. We're going to be comparing both stock frequency temperatures at 4.5 GHz and also the overclocked temperatures at 4.9 GHz. We're not testing anything above 4.9 because our non de 7700K simply wasn't stable above that. Another important thing to note is that this specifically applies to Intel's KB Lake CPUs, which commonly run quite hot and show significant improvements once de -littered. Previous generation chips like Skylake and Broadwell typically don't yield the same results, so keep that in mind. So, jumping right into the results, let's first take a look at how the three different compounds did at the stock 4.5 GHz. In Unigen Heaven at ultra settings we see a negligible 1 degree difference between Arctic Silver and the stock TIM, however boosting the frame rate and dropping to low settings, we see that extend to about 5 degrees. I'd say this is about the best result that you can expect by using a thermal paste as your CPU diathermal compound. Liquid Ultra further decreased temperatures by about 7 degrees for a total of around 10 degrees over the stock temperatures. In rendering we see a similar story. Arctic Silver manages to improve temperatures a little, but nothing significant and definitely nothing worth de your CPU over and voiding your warranty. With Liquid Ultra we do see significant improvements however, with a 15 degree delta in Cinebench R15 and a 13 degree delta in our Blender 4K render scene. These results are pretty much confirmed when bumping up the clock speed to 4.9 GHz. Note that I was able to achieve this on the stock voltage of 1.2 volts, and we all know that silicon quality varies between chip to chip so your results may vary. One thing is for certain though, and that's that the temperature improvement of using Arctic Silver 5, or likely any standard thermal paste for that matter, as the replacement TIM for your delitted CPU just isn't worth it. The temperature improvement over the stock TIM on average was under 3 degrees Celsius, and that's just not worth losing your warranty over. Liquid Ultra on the other hand is a different story, and I've shown this in my previous de video, we can see an improvement of up to 15 degrees in stress testing, which is a 17% improvement over the stock TIM, and this means that you'll have both a cooler and quieter system. So, if you're planning on de-litting, then it's best to go ahead and get yourself some Liquid Ultra, or if you can find another liquid metal compound, then feel free to try that too. I believe that the reason the liquid compound works so well, is that it's able to do a much better job in filling the gap and all of the tiny air bubbles between the IHS and the CPU die, than the stock Intel TIM and also the Arctic Silver Thermal Paste. That's all for this video, feel free to leave a like, comment any thoughts you might have, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and catch you in the next one.